Dr. Jelen, we see a lot of kids today under a year, and they seem to be very large. Is that a problem? I, I think that the kids under a year, I'm not as worried about. It's the kids who are school-age kids who are very much overweight, who we are worried about. But if bad habits happen early, they can carry on the rest of your life, too. One of the important lessons that really parents have to learn, the kids, I think, already know it, is to allow their kids to regulate their own intake. It's one of the beauties of breast milk in that the child stops feeding when he's ready, and we have no idea how much he's eaten or drank. On the other hand, if we bottle feed, we say, oh, finish that last ounce, finish that last ounce. And what we do is train our kids to eat more because we want them to clean their plate or to empty the bottle. I think that we want the kids, and what I usually tell parents is always put a half an ounce more in the bottle than your child usually finishes. That way, and he can tell you when he's finished, and you need to listen to his cues. So the good approach is never use food as a reward, and never use food as a measurement if you're a good parent. Because the kid's gaining by the growth calculations we do properly. That's the best reward for the parent, isn't it? That's correct. I mean, it's, it, one has to remove all the extra attention we give to food. Food is a natural, eating is a natural uh, phenomenon. Eating, most people know how to regulate themselves, and we have to encourage that self-regulation. So a good diet and good habits early may help against obesity. Tell That's correct.